prepared are you for extreme weather? Last August, tropical storm Irene brought a lot of severe weather to the area, leaving plenty of destruction in her wake. Joining us today is Weather Edge team member and Bramford 911 operator John Carter. He's here to talk about what to do when bad weather strikes. John, it's nice to have you here. Good morning. Thanks nice for having me. Nice to see you in real life. I know we're friends on Twitter, oh, yeah? but uh, yep. you're right here in the flesh. Yep. All right, let's talk about uh, a little bit your background. When did you start working uh, for the town of Bramford? Uh, in 95. Uh, prior to that, volunteer firefighter for the same town mm -hmm. and still actively social with the department. Okay. And so you're answering 911 calls. This has yes. to be a stressful job. It is. It has its ups and downs. Um, what can you talk to us about uh, when it comes to severe weather? Uh, just pay attention to the news, the weather, uh, especially Gil. He's right, he, he, <laughs> especially Gil, all right. He's well, right on all the time. Okay. Yep. Uh, but let's talk about when a storm strikes. What are people calling 911 about? Uh, trees down, wires down. Uh, flooding, you know, wanting to know if they can get out, where to go, things like that. And what do you offer them? What type of advice? I know you're supposed to stay clear of the wires, right? Yep, yeah, stay clear of the wires. Anything that's down, just, you know, pretty much tell us what you see. Don't go out into the storm. Uh, okay. don't, don't venture out, put yourself in danger. All right. Um, I guess another, another suggestion would be uh, make sure you check on neighbors, yep. those that need special assistance. Yeah, elderly, if they have any kind of special equipment in their house, oxygen machines, things like that, mm -hmm. if they're bedridden. All right. Uh, what do we need in case there is an evacuation? What do they recommend? Uh, know where to go. Know where your emergency routes are. Have, have a plan, right? Before yeah, you have to panic. Exactly. <laughs> you know, have, have clothes for at least three days, medicine for at least three days. Have cash on you. Make sure your pets are taken care of. Find a shelter that has that's pet friendly. That uh, you know, if they have any medications as well, mm -hmm. things like that. Cell phone charger. Cell that's phone charger. A good one. Yep. Cell phone <laughs> charger. Full tank of gas. You know, contact numbers for family members to let them know you're all right. Mm -hmm. Um, how did the town of Brantford re, uh, respond to Hurricane Irene, or Tropical Storm Irene? Uh, quite well. We were ready to go. We had a uh, full staff of emergency services, whether it be police and the fire, the ambulance, as well as the 911 center. Mm -hmm. The emergency operations center was opened up. Uh, we had everything all planned out, ready to go. You had some long hours there? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. A yep. couple of double shifts. Yeah. Um, how do people find out about shelters in case they do need to go to one? Uh, it's on the town's website. It's okay. also, uh, you know, it's, we have maps that are available at Town Hall, and I think the police station may have a couple more maps left mm -hmm. of uh, where you live and where your evacuation routes are and where to go. Uh, so, John, let's talk about uh, WXEdge.com. How'd you get interested in this? Do you have a passion for weather? Oh, yeah, pretty much. I was pretty much a weather geek from day one. <laughs> and, I work uh, with one of those in the morning. <laughs> and uh, just from there on out, just started following the weather and got interested up. We did a Skywarn class oh. where it's the National Weather Service tell you the signs and what to look for in weather. And just applied to the wxedge.com and they brought me in. Now what are you, what are you doing in there? Are you posting articles? Yeah, what are you po finding? Yeah, Tell everyone who's not <laughs> familiar with the website what it's all about. Uh, it's pretty much about just getting to know the weather. You know, pe <laughs> people that want to know what's going on, um, articles that people post for heat emergency, you know, just like Jay Pelletieri does a lot of medical stuff. Mm -hmm. He also does walkabouts, things like that. And uh, a bunch of other people do severe weather, what's going on, give you a heads up. And just articles about Articles. Just <laughs> I did one about uh, you know was it, what was it called uh, traps to tables, talking about the local fishermen bringing their food from the oh. from the sound to their boats to the tables oh, at restaurants. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What else have you contributed? Um, pretty much what the uh, answer for 911. You know what, what questions we're going to ask you. Yeah. You know just try and stay calm. Have the response is ready, right? Yep. All right, that sounds good. Uh, let's put some information up on the screen in case you do want to check out WXEdge.com, which I highly recommend, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, uh, there it is right there. And, uh, of course, we're going to have more Kinetic Style coming up after the break. Thanks so much for being here, John. Yeah, thank you. Seeing you in real life, it's been pleasant. Yeah, it has been. <laughs>